Hey, and welcome back. So we're going to talk about icons in forms or in inputs more specifically. So what do we have here? Icons inputs. Who would have thought? Let's go over the three different scenarios that we often see when we're using them. So just purely for aesthetic reasons, icons can be used like this over here. They serve really no purpose, but just to reinforce the label or what is asked of the user. These are generally in line with the input and left of the text. So we have here just email, we have a little email icon and on uh, over here in this credit card input, we have a little credit card icon. You can zoom in just so you can see that. And they really serve no purpose either than to reinforce this, this label over here. So keep that in mind. They really help sometimes for accessibility reasons as well. I mean, just another layer of information that we're giving users. For purely aesthetic reasons, this is where they're typically used. Now let's think about actionable. Now some icons will add functionality to your input. Some examples of this are chevrons for dropdowns, what we see over here on this select amount dropdown. Also some examples are like clear, show, hide, or any info like that that help to give the user additional ways to interact with your input. So if we have like a password input, we have like a show, hide, little eye icon. And what that could do is if a user started typing in their password, you can show the password and what's actually being typed, or you can hide it and just show the little circles just to hide that password. So these are the ways that we can easily incorporate icons for just uh, actionable reasons. Now, typically when we are actually creating dropdowns or like select inputs like that, there's always a, a some sort of arrow or this chevron. So keep that in mind that you'll probably need that just to indicate to a user that there, this is a, a dropdown input so they understand what they need to do. So make sure that um, you understand that you need to use uh, this icon in this scenario. You don't necessarily need to use this icon right here. Uh, the Chevron does let users know that this is a dropdown menu. It's totally built into this already. Now let's take a look at feedback. So feedback is another reason why we may use icons. And typically where you do see that is to help users understand if an action was successful or not. These are often used in addition to color that is super important for accessibility because some colorblind users cannot tell the difference between red and green, and they will rely on icons. So what I have here is a valid username and invalid username. So if you look even closer, you can see that there's a little icon here beside that, that error text and success text. So this really just helps to reinforce what's happening and just give the user enough feedback to understand that something went right and something didn't. So that's using icons in inputs.